This is the, uh, the RV Celtic Explorer owned by the uh, Marine Institute, 65 metre research vessel. This time of the year, every year, we, uh, the Marine Institute runs this fisheries survey, which is part of the uh, International Bottom Trawl Survey Working Group uh, programme. We start in the west coast of Scotland, work down the west coast of Ireland, then into the, into the Celtic Sea, there where we start to overlap with a similar survey. Uh, there, French, France runs a survey in, in that area, so we overlap with them. So yeah, it's a six week, six week program. These surveys collect a lot of data, but they're, they're really critical for uh, sustainable fisheries management, because the way we manage fish stocks um, Really, you need three pieces of information. You need the size of the stock at the start of the year. So we have uh, recent uh, assessments where we, where we can get that information. We know essentially how, how large the stock is, as, as, as far as we know. The next piece of information we need is how much has been removed from the fishery in a given year by the commercial industry for human consumption. So we get that from commercial catch data. But very in, importantly, we need to know how many young fish are coming into the fishery to replace what's been taken away. And that's really where these surveys are critical because there's no other source of information for that. Um, and there's, there's, there's no way for most stocks to get a, a clear indication of how um, successful spawning has been in any one year without coming out here and doing the sampling. The, the models just aren't that you know, reliable. So it, it requires these, these scientific surveys to come out and actually do the sampling and work out proportionately how many young fish will be coming through into the fishery so that we know whether we can be you know, positive, optimistic, or we need to be conservative um, based on you know, the other data that we have.